Behringer High School is the type of place you'd want to send your children. It has everything a quality learning institution could ever want. Good test scores, decent athletics, a beautiful campus, and me. Hi, I'm Brent Flanagan. Sitting next to me is my best friend Chet. Watch the road. Sorry. Behind us is Thaddeus Schumacher. You're a bad driver. Incoming freshman, carpool buddy, and the only thing standing between me and senior year glory. Mom, I don't want to go to real school. Why can't I just stay in home school? Thaddeus, you know why. I heard he went crazy. Miranda, I, uh, I got my mom to get you some, some prunes at the grocery store. You know how much you like prunes. Oh, don't worry, Carlos. There's plenty of bananas there, too. Oh, you want some? Miranda, you know, I've been uh, meaning to tell you for quite some time. I think you have really pretty eyes. Dude, that's not what happened. It's because our school's like number one in everything. You know, we're number one in state testing, grades, sports, everything. That's why Miss Schumacher stopped homeschooling you, dumbass. My mom says you aren't supposed to use words like that when I'm in the car. Whatever. Look, Fatty, she wants some real advice on how to survive your first day of Barringer High School. This school will eat you alive if you're not careful. You need to find some kid that's smaller than you today and kick his ass. That's what me and Chet did, right? I'm not really sure what happened to Thaddeus that first day of school, but the next day, he wasn't the same. Hey, friends! Yo, Bryce, don't be such a dumbass. Oh, uh, Brent, do you mind if I smoke in here? I was at this keg party last night uh, with a bunch of older kids. I think they were in college. You guys should have been there. It was awesome. Man, I hope my teachers don't realize how high on weed I am right now. Goofballs, Gorilla Biscuits, Cornflakes, Peter Pan, cow tranquilizers, goofballs, you name it. Dude, it's the first week of school and Thaddeus might already be cooler than us. Chad, don't talk like that. It's not cool. I'll prove it. Hey Thad, you know what you need to try is that new drug. You know, the new one. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, what to do? Everything you wanted to. You've tried it, right Chad? Uh, yeah, it, uh, made my balls tingle all day long. <laughs> yeah, I think I've done that. Uh, what's it called again? It's called, uh, it's called Woodrow Wilson. Oh, yeah, Woodrow. I think someone, uh, slipped it into my drink at a party once. Oh, yeah? Well, you know, for the full effect, you've got to take it in the ear. I just scored some if you want to do it with us tomorrow, buddy. Uh, yeah. All right. We wanted to see just how far Thad's lies were taken. That night, we used my sister's junior chemistry set and some food coloring to concoct Woodrow. The next day was Thaddeus' big test. I think my balls are tingling. <laughs> the placebo effect is the beneficial result in someone that arises from expectations rather than reality. 
Basically, if you give someone a drink, tell them there's alcohol in it, they'll get drunk. Gonna need as much as I can get. Just don't tell my moms, all right? It seemed like Thaddeus had actually fooled himself into getting high. He was buying Woodrow as fast as we could make it. Something wasn't right. The kids at school seemed different. Thaddeus was selling everyone our lie and making a fortune. Everyone trusted Thaddeus. He told them they get high and they believed it. Thaddeus was suddenly more popular than ever. Rumor had it that he'd even started doing it with the love of my life, head cheerleader Shauna Schultz. I'd been fantasizing about her since third grade. This whole time, while we'd been slaving away making Woodrow, he'd been living the good life, hosting exclusive Woodrow parties and having sleepovers with the entire cheerleading squad. And he didn't even invite me and Chet, his best friends. It was then that I realized that Thaddeus Schumacher was not just an obnoxious carpool buddy, but the Antichrist himself. Woo. <laughs> Thaddeus, you're amazing. I vowed to destroy him and his Woodrow Wilson empire. I had it all worked out. I came to tell Chet all about my plans. But he wasn't at his house that morning. Thaddeus won't be needing a ride to school anymore. He got an after school job and now he has his own car. He's 14. That's when I saw the truth. Chet had a new carpool. I'd been double-crossed and betrayed at the same time. Who knew the drug trade could hurt your feelings so much? My own best friend had left me for another man. I had nothing to lose. Hey, you guys want to buy some wood drill? Only ten dollars a slag. <laughs> yeah, right, man. That daddy is Schumacher. He's got the real shit. I bet your stuff doesn't even do anything. <laughs> Peace out, cafeteria bitches. Girls ever done a Woodrow before? <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd like to report some suspicious activity in the B Hall janitor closet. I think there's some drug use going on. I thought the administrators would find out that the drugs were fake, and then everyone would know, and this would all be over. Oh my god! Oh, Shauna, we found shit. Shauna! I couldn't have been more wrong. Call the paramedics! The girl of my dreams was in a coma because of me. I couldn't help but feel somewhat responsible.
killed head cheerleader Shauna Schultz. She took too much, man. I told her she took too much. All she ever wanted to do is to fit in with us, and look where she is now. Brent, you gotta help us! So Don't listen to him, Brent. Everybody's happy because of what we did. They don't want to know the truth. Ignorance is bliss! Brent! It was all downhill from there. After Shauna's overdose, Woodrow was even more popular. All anyone could think about was Woodrow. Everyone wanted it, but without Thad and Chet, no one could get it. Hey man, um, do you still have that Woodrow connection? I'm in a really bad place, man. Not a good one. Beringer's test scores went from best in state to not so great. The team season fell apart. Half the players checked into rehab. Beringer became a place of pain and disappointment. And it was my fault. Shauna? You don't know me, but I'm Brent Flanagan. And I'm the reason all this has happened. You see, Thaddeus Shoemaker is my neighbor, and I gave him Woodrow Wilson and told him it would get him high. I didn't know other people would believe him, too. I didn't know you would. It was supposed to be a joke. It was just a lie that got out of control. I'm sorry. Shauna, you're alive! You didn't know T! You were faking it. Were you? Isn't that what's supposed to happen? I mean, I really did take too much. Okay. Well, uh, I'm glad you're alright. Uh, I'll see ya. No, wait! No one can know I overdosed on something that doesn't really do anything. You can't tell anyone, okay? I'm sorry, head cheerleader Shauna Schultz. But I think I have to do the right thing. Look, maybe deep down, we all know Halfway through Shauna's real. speech, I realized she was just like everyone else at Beringer. You know what I mean? Fake. Who's the ringleader? Is it you? Come on now. Chet sold me out to skip time in juvie. Brent Flanagan, please come to Mr. Burford's office. Meanwhile, Dad was transferred to rehab where they forced him off his psychosomatic addiction, cold turkey. Slowly but surely, he regained his motor functions. And used them to escape. As for me... Uh, look, Mr. Burford, I'm sorry, but it's just that... Even Principal Burford had gotten addicted to Woodrow in a way. Without it, his school couldn't function as it once did. So neither could he. We confiscated this from Thaddeus Schumacher. This is your chance, Brent. To help make everyone happy again. Shauna returned to school. Turned out she just had an infection from pouring all that shit in her ear. With a little counseling and a lot of anti-Woodrow PSAs, the kids at my school kicked their addiction. The players got out of rehab and went back to practice. That kid that Thaddeus attacked ended up taking up karate. I heard he beat up some 30-year-old guy and won some tournament. I told Ricky and Randy Woodrow was fake, but they didn't believe me. They promised me Woodrow had made them do some pretty crazy things. Where did you learn how to do this? I learned it from watching you, Dad! Chet and his father never spoke again. As for Thaddeus, he resurfaced a few months later. He has been re-enrolled in his mother's home school. And me? I learned that we all have an addiction to something. 
Mine is driving away in a sweet van. Yep. Good luck.